awaiting results from the Department of Health after investigators tested an Oahu farm for possible salmonella. Officials say 14 people got sick and their cases are linked to tainted limu served with poke. It's the second foodborne illness outbreak to hit the state, with the hepatitis A outbreak still weeks away from being done. Alexander Zanes checks on what the busy year has meant for the health department and how the string of outbreaks is affecting upcoming programs. Alexander? Joe, Dr. Sarah Park describes it as what could be the new normal, with advancements in the way the department detects and fights infectious diseases improving each year, the department's workload continues to grow. It's been a busy year for the State Department of Health, starting with the dengue fever outbreak on the Big Island, which capped off at 264 cases and slowed to a halt in March of this year. That, of course, was closely followed by the threat of Zika. And although to this date there have been no locally acquired cases, the department still had to make sure the public was informed. But Dr. Sarah Park speaks highly of her team's handling of the recent threats. It's a testament, frankly, to my staff, to the staff here in the department, not just in my division, but in, uh, you know, in other programs around the department. If anything, if you're looking for a silver lining out of all this, um, it's made us work even more and more closely together. The hepatitis A outbreak that followed is also still under the department's watch, with December 5th marking the day the outbreak can finally be taken off the watch list. But with the current salmonella outbreak and with the peak of flu season on the horizon, the department still has its hands full. We're going to be constantly busy. There's always going to be something new, and it does speak to the fact that we, we, we do need more capacity. Um, you know, we need increased capacity. Staffing is an issue the health department has struggled with, hoping for increased staffing in the future to deal with the ever-changing landscape of infectious diseases. We're hopeful. Um, we have put in requests, but, um, you know, we, we'll just have to see how things go. And I learned the department will ask the legislature for two more full-time workers to help with their outbreak investigations. As for the popular Stop Flu at School program, it'll be getting a late start. Some smaller schools will start to see the program in the coming weeks, but the majority of clinics will be held in January. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.